Hey Trail Cammers, welcome back to another episode of Save the Squirrels Initiative. I know it's it's been a while, but I'm back here in Canada with my trail cam, and it only films in 15 second increments. And uh, having said all that, the trip up to Canada was very arduous. I'll show you all of the clips of me traveling from the States all the way up here by way of rollerblade. Unironically, a fear of mine with rollerblading, it, as cool as I always thought it was, I, it was always considered gay, so I never wanted to do it because I thought I would look gay, um, but I'm conquering. Here is one of our squirrely friends, and here is the other squirrely friend. They've both been learning how to be vicious and violent together. All three of us have been learning how to be vicious and violent. We all know how to do damage to people and take damage as well. So I realize that the trail cam might get annoying. So I, I do remember that I do have a computer here. So I'm going to cut over to the computer and give you guys a full breakdown of what to expect on today's episode. Yeah, so today's episode is all about saving the squirrels. Uh, but what does that entail? Right now, there's no squirrels to save. I want to introduce you guys to the idea of life listing. Life listing is this concept in fishing where you try to catch as many different fish as possible, as many different species as possible. To give you guys an idea of how this works, we're going to check out this video from Extreme Philly Fishing. First blue catfish, the Ictalurus furcatus of 2022. I think that is his... 1,320th species. I, I got to thinking. I said, all right, we could do this too. How many species of fish are there in the world? 32,000. How many species of birds in the world? 9,700. There are 289 types of squirrels. There's only 289 squirrel species. I think it's possible to uh, observe all 289 of them and like document them. Let's be frank, it's a lot more reasonable than 9,700 or 32,000. The, the beauty in this is we can kind of make our own rules. I want to properly identify the squirrels. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, that looks close enough. But I think the key is getting it on camera. That's going to be our rule. Kind of like, I don't know if they do that for bird watching. I imagine that's kind of the, the rule. You need evidence that you saw the thing. Of the 289 species of squirrels in the world, only 22% can be found in the United States. Oh man, maybe I should have picked a different animal. <laughs> Growth Hormone Injected Cows Initiative. The seven types of squirrels that live in Canada. Eastern Gray Squirrel, the American Red Squirrel, Douglas Squirrel. Oh man, okay, I need to go back to Seattle to find the Douglas Squirrel. Northern Flying Squirrel. Okay, that's more like it. That's more like a Canadian squirrel. It seems to have a really wide range, and I think we are comfortably within its range. Okay, so for today's episode of Save the Squirrels Initiative, we are going to be looking for the northern flying squirrel. Today we're looking for Glacomis sabrinus. Glacomis sabrinus. Uh, and that's probably got something to do with their eyes. Gla glacoma. Glacoma sabrinus. Glacomi sabrinus. Okay, average length 25 to 37 centimeters. I mean, that's like what? Yay big? Yay big? With tail. So they're like pretty small. They're not big. We're not going to read too much more about these guys, but the, the general idea is that they are nocturnal. You know, we're going to go at, I think, like sunrise or sunset 
to look out for these guys because I think that's going to be the highest activity time, potentially also be able to see them. It's currently the crack of dawn. That's how you know it's early when there's wetness. It's getting lighter by the second and I don't know what to do. Man, this country sucks. It'd be so much better for in the US because we would have seen probably like five Trump signs by this point. An anti-abortion billboard. And this would be a Walmart. This would be a really cool Walmart super center where you can get your eyes checked and you can file your taxes. Tim Hortons, the official food of Save the Squirrels initiative. Look at these damn things. You wish you were me right now. Got my freaking wife driving me, making illegal U-turns. That's fucking awesome. This is some dope shit that's happening right now. Oh, oh, man, this is good. Cheese anus, cheese anus, Anissa. Anissa, look at the cheese anus. Food of the god. Cheese anus, cheese anus. Oh, look at that. I don't even need to turn this light on anymore because it's already so damn bright out. <sighs> Yeah, so by the time we get to Elk Island, it'll obviously be plenty easy for us to see around. Even though technically it's not sunrise yet, that's still about 30 minutes away. The plan when we get to Elk Island is to wander around aimlessly, looking in the trees, looking at high places, looking for like kind of dead trees with like uh, holes in them. Creepy, we are now being surrounded by fog hell. Bison. You see the bison? Oh, there were bison. All right, I'll keep my eyes peeled for bison. There's more bison. Bison. Okay, well, that was an excellent shot. <laughs> Definitely gonna show people that. Just like the most out of focus, disgusting brown blob for half of a frame. <laughs> and a group of fucking white supremacists are walking on the side of the road. That's a cre Oh no, those are bison. Those are bison. They look like men from very far away. <laughs> Bienvenue. That is French for welcome. Elk. Oh, elch. All right. Oh, more elk. More elk. Okay. I'm more gonna fucking. No, uh. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no one behind you. No. Oh, they're so cute. Oh man, he was. Fu they hate me. Your hair's always so fucking disgusting. <laughs> These are wild animals. Yeah, but you want to go if you if you horse? look at it like a wild horse, its coat is beautiful. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Yes. Mm -mm. Whatever. If you look at a wild moose, more beautiful than that. No. An elk. No. They can look really clean. These guys never look clean. That is insane. <laughs> it's literally a steaming pile. Oh my gosh, that is a chode to be reckoned with. I think it's so many fucking points from Professor Oak for getting this shot. Very creepy. We ran into a, an SOS drawn on the ground. Obviously, this is near civilization, so. Okay, guys, I just saw some sort of marsupial in this uh, tree up ahead. I'm going to see if we can spot it. Oh, fuck. I think it's a red squirrel. Yeah, definitely. Oh, did, did he jump? We're going back to the car. We couldn't, uh, we don't think this is a, gonna be a good area. Oh man, three guys gonna be blocking your path in a hot minute. Yeah, fucking run for your life, bitches. We'll GTA your ass. Damn, they do be motoring. <laughs> what the hell? That's a beaver. Oh, that is a beaver. I see his big fat beaver tail. Man, we're getting the Canadian experience today. And there's his fucking beautiful beaver dam. I want to see his big fat tail slap something. They chewed that. Oh. See that? That's evidence of them chewing. Chew on that. Right oh. 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 So that's the tail slap. Really? Yeah. Looking like it's a no-go for squirrels. Looks like that's the fucking world map 
on his back. <laughs> like this is like Indonesia, the Philippines right here, South Africa, Egypt, maybe Italy right there. We didn't find the Northern Flying Squirrel at Elk Island. The new plan is that we're gonna go to a local spot after sundown and shine our light in the trees and see if we can spot any, you know, shimmering eyes. He looks less red though than the other ones. It looks like mostly what we have is red squirrels. All right, we found a perfect example of where they'd hold up. This guy right here. All right, we found another tree that looks pretty promising. Flying squirrels generally nest in holes in trees, preferring large diameter trunks and dead tree. Oh man, that's exactly what we're looking for. Flying squirrel. Another thing to be seen. This is the end of the video. We weren't able to find the northern flying squirrel in this video, but this is going to be an ongoing uh, adventure. You know, we it's a it's called a life list for a reason. We're going to be working on this for the rest of our life. But I, I'll get better at it, and we'll collectively get better at it. Technically, I don't have anything in the rules that say that I can't go to someone's house and film their pet northern flying squirrel. We aren't playing by the same rules as some of these other as some of these other uh, life listers. I want to leave you guys on a hopeful note. We have a lead. Next episode, we're going to go here, a place called Seba Beach. We were told that uh, in the evening, you can see loads of flying squirrels. So hopefully, that, that's got you guys a little excited. It's got me a little excited. It's like an hour outside of Edmonton. We're going to spot them. I'm going to bring my high-powered flashlight, maybe some night vision goggles, and we're going to go hard. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time. Okay, you done eating poke posies? Oh, they're converging. Kiss. Oh, they pooped each other's snake. <laughs>